dear learners, I, Trisha Dora Borwa, from the Bhupanasagar School of Mass Communication, Krishna Kandahanik State Open University, would like to cordially welcome you all to another of our online discussion-based session today. In today's uh, video-based session, we are going to talk about the different types of journalism. And this particular topic is taken up from Unit 3 of the second paper of BA in Journalism Mass Communication, that is the journalism paper. So let us understand what are the different types of journalism. Now when we talk about journalism, now journalism as a whole or journalism as a subject is all about collecting of news and information, editing of news and information and finally trying to bring forward or portray the different news and information in front of the society as a whole. Now when we talk about different types of journalism, we base them on the use of different media platforms. So the first type of journalism we are trying to talk about is based on the use of different media platforms and they are the first one is a print journalism. Now print journalism as a whole is a practice of investigation and reporting on events in newspaper or in other printed form to a broad audience. Now from the term itself you can make out that when we talk about print journalism is all about you know trying to uh, put forward the different forms of news stories, the different forms of you know editorials, the different form of different forms of letters to editor, the different form of uh, hard based stories, soft news stories, anchor stories through printed forms. And print journalism covers all those types of stories. The aim of print journalism is to inform the internet and audience and also covers cultural aspects of society such as different arts and entertainment. So print journalism is not only about collecting of different hard based facts, soft news stories or anchor stories, but it also tries to, you know, focus on the different cultural aspects of society such as arts as well as entertainment. The second important type of journalism that is based on the use of media platform is broadcast journalism. So from the term itself, we can make out what broadcast journalism is all about. Broadcast journalism is that field of journalism whereby news and other information are broadcast by way of electronic means. Some of the methods of broadcast journalism includes radio, television and more recently the world wide web. Now you see, the when we talk about broadcast journalism, we usually talk about how the news is being broadcast, how news, different news and information are being broadcast okay, by way of electronic means. You know, today's field in the present context, the, the way the things are broadcast is a little bit different from what used to be broadcast about like 10, 20 years back because a lot has changed in the last 10, 20 years. You know, there has been a lot of developments in the field of technology. There has been a lot of uh, innovations in the field of how news can be broadcast for the betterment of the society or how the general public can take in those information within the shortest possible time frame. So, if you compare the broadcast journalism on the present day context with something like that had happened almost 20 years back, you'll find a lot of differences to it. Okay, so in the present context when we talk about broadcast journalism, usually, you know, you know, of course these days we have different media organizations, they have, you know, the different uh, online portals are there. Most of the newspapers have their own e-versions of newspapers. And in those e-versions, you know, they, they, it's not only about having, you know, uh, news stories in printed form, in news stories, but there are also podcasts are there, there are short clippings of videos are there, there are short clippings of audios are also incorporated. So everything has changed with the technological development. Then the third important type of journalism based on the use of media platform is the online journalism or cyber journalism. Now when we talk about online journalism, in term itself we can make out that this form of journalism is basically concerned with the news or views that are broadcast through online media. In other words, it is that form of journalism where the reporting and editing takes place through online media. The speed at which news can be accessed and disseminated via the web has greatly increased the quantity as well as a variety of news reports available to the web user. And most of the print media houses, they have, you know, they have different, uh, on their own online uh, issues, their own online journalism with electronic edition of newspapers and magazines gaining grounds. And this different uh, 
e-based form of online newspapers or magazines they have their own videos they have their own podcasts they have their own blogs so slide shows just for the benefit of viewers now why such kind of you know uh, intermingling or why this online uh, interactive tools or technologies are being juxtaposed into the you know very real more uh, projecting news stories this is because so that the audience or the general readers they don't feel uh, disinterested in kind of assessing the different news stories and whenever we try to incorporate such kind of elements such kind of technology based elements into the news story that actually enhances the you know the quality of the story because the people are able to grasp the so people are able to comprehend the matter in a most in the best possible way then another important type of journalism that's based on a style of presentation okay now when we talk about style of presentation what do we mean is how the things have been presented to the society okay so first is the objective journalism now when we talk about objective journalism we basically mean that whatever has happened whatever the facts that has happened those facts are only being printed or only being broadcast there is no influence by anyone there is no interpretation by the respected journalist or the reporter as such so whatever has happened that's that those hard facts are only being projected to the society are projected in front of the general public that is objective journalism the another important type of journalism is based on a style of presentation is interpretative journalism now this form of journalism tries to interpret the news policies and programs of the government so when we talk about interpretive it means like the uh the uh, the journalist or the reporter is trying to interpret the different news stories okay it's not only the hard facts are being given no doubt but along with the hard facts the reporter or the journalist tries to interpret the news story from his or her point of view okay and that interpretation is being given so that the people can actually understand whatever the concept or whatever the story is all about whatever the you know the matter is all about so interpretive journalism plays a very important role in educating the masses about the different issues now there are different write ups on issues that are published in newspapers columns on radio and television whole discussions by inviting eminent panelists to in the program so even you know while i'm talking about in case of broadcast journalism so when we talk about broadcast journalism we often see uh, different panel discussions are being you know done uh, different uh, interview based uh, programs are being done in in those kind of programs what happens and there is kind of interpretation is there okay so when those interpretation is there when there that interpretation a lot of information comes out okay it's not only that the hard facts will be there but when we talk about interpretative journalism there are other issues also that might come up during those particular discussions and when those issues comes up that actually adds more meaning to the story then we have investigative journalism so from the term itself we can actually make out the investigative journalism is what exactly the reporter or the journalist goes into in the deep of the matter okay he it's not only there's something that is being given in objective way the journalist or the reporter tries to unart that particular news story through different means so the the particular reporter has to dig deeply beyond what is already stated in the hard news or in order to find out the exact facts of an event or in short investigates beyond what meets the naked eye now as far as india is concerned the seeds of investigative journalism was started by arun shori after he was appointed as executive editor of the indian express in 1979 and arun shori is very well known to have introduced this new style of aggressive independent investigative journalism in a country so from then onwards investigative journalism took you know a much needed you know leaps and bounds from that period onwards there has been a lot of developments in how the news stories being investigated and how news stories being put forward in front of the people now there is another category of or different types of journalism that is based on the style of presentation now when we talk about style of presentation we we mean that how the news story is presented okay like for instance uh, one of the important uh, style of presentation is science journalism now of the term itself we can make out what is science journalism science journalism is basically related to that area of journalism which 
the topics you know it tries to cover the science based news and views anything related to science topics that are being covered by this branch of journalism that is science journalism another important type of journalism is based on style of presentation is sports journalism now sports journalism usually covers different aspects of sports related news and just remember one thing that when we talk of science journalism and talk of sports journalism the facts are very hard based facts it's not something that is you can add some kind of dimensions to it it's not something that you can add some interpretation to it okay for example in case of sports journalism like how many of uh, indian sports person have won medals in recently held olympics it's not that something you can interpret and uh, you can uh, you know kind of manipulate the facts that is already been there and try you know, try to uh, give different facts you know to the public which which will, which is completely out of uh, uh, the ethics of journalism so in case of sports journalism or in case of for that matter in case of science journalism the actual facts needs to be put forward that is what concerns another important type of journalism that is based on style presentation is gonzo journalism now what is gonzo journalism now gonzo journalism was popularized by the american writer hunter s thompson and that this such kind of write up is or such kind of journalism is characterized by its punchy style uh, use of very rough language and ostensible disregard for conventional journalistic writing forms and customs so gonzo journalism is very different from what the regular form of journalism is all about you know in usual journalistic uh, parlance and in, in usually and how a print uh, media is been we don't print news story is been written that we follow you know in what a pyramid style writing in news story no doubt but in case of gonzo journalism that is not done so it it uses some kind of very you know punchy kind of language there is uh, language is not very rough and uh, it's something it's it doesn't have any regard for the con con the conventional journalist style of writing that is gonzo journalism is all about the another one we have is a celebrity or people journalism that the term itself you can make about celebrity or people journalism all about now celebrity or people journalism tries to focus on a personal life of the celebrities or on the personal life of those people who are working in the entertainment industry and they are already they are always in focus so whenever a new story is being you know conjectured and a new story is written on their lives what on the works which they are doing and that is being focused so then that falls under the aspect or that falls under the domain of people journalism or celebrity journalism then let's come to another form of journalism that is also based on the style of presentation that is a convergence journalism now from the term itself you can make out that convergent journalism tries to converge or tries to combine the different forms of journalism like print photography and video into one piece or group of pieces there are different news channels like cnn follows this form of journalism so here what happens not only about they try to you know uh, focus only give out only the news and information but in such kind of journalism if they try to incorporate the different elements of photography the different elements of video into one piece or group of piece of you know writing that is convergence journalism then we have development journalism Now, development journalism tries to focus on those issues which might help in the long run in developing the society, or which might uh, influence the people, might inform the people, you know, to take in those information which they can use for the benefit of the society. That is what development journalism is all about. Then we have photo journalism. Now, photo journalism as a whole is very much concerned with the use of photography. Okay, a photo journalist. is an indispensable person for any news organization so a photograph is not only supports the news story but also makes the newspaper colorful and attractive it creates a very powerful impact on the minds of the readers then let us come to another important aspect of today's discussion that is journalism as a profession now we have been talking about what journalism is all about the different types of journalism uh, based on the style of presentation you know then based on the uh, you know the style of different media platforms used okay those different types of journalism are already in place but journalism as a profession how big that is okay what can we expect from journalism as a profession then maybe in the next 5 years or maybe in the next 10 years now if you look for the last 20 years or so journalism has as a profession has really 
improved by leaps and bounds it has really you know surged ahead it's not something that is only concentrated with print media or electronic media or it is not something that is only concentrated with being a journalist or reporter but there are a lot of different other opportunities that have opened up in the field of journalism that from the professional point of view journalism has definitely come up a lot and these days we have different ways of journalism offering different opportunities to people to showcase the different talents now the career of a journalist is very much interesting okay and it's it's obviously it's full of vast opportunities and uh, that has really taken a big turn around in the last 10 years or so and uh, as a journalist he is a hard on career demands a wide range of qualities and skills okay it's journalist you know to be a good and active journalist or to be a good journalist is not something that you know you collect the news and views you collect the different information from different sources and you try to edit those news and you either you broadcast it or you print it in the form in different other using different media platforms it's not only that it journalism as a profession doesn't end only in that way but journalism as a profession it is more than that you know in the field of journalism also you have editors are there you have photo journalists you have you know strangers are there you have reporters okay so you have different branches are there and in the field of journalism also you have advertising department is there there is public relations department you know these days if you look at the big big uh, multinational companies or maybe or for that matter if you look at the uh, big big uh, media organizations they have their own separate branch they have their own separate group of you know uh, public relations department they have their own advertising department so what do this kind of departments do for instance advertising department they try to look at the different advertising figures they try to understand that which advertisement can actually be incorporated in the particular news story or that can actually be incorporated in the particular newspaper or in case of electronic media which advertisement can be broadcast you know so those there are sort of small nitty gritty issues a small matters which actually need a lot of planning and discussion and those discussions are actually done at a very different level okay and that that actually entails uh, you know to take up specialized people for such purposes so you know when we talk about profession it's not something that one has to be only a journalist okay one can only become a journalist one can only become a reporter but there are also other professions in the field of uh, journalism which one can actually get involved in now as i have already talked about the care the career of a journalist it actually demands a wide range of qualities and skills and they actually really have to work very hard to reach the top of the brass and that cannot be you know achieved within a single day itself because it takes years of experience it takes years of understanding the the process of how this entire you know collecting of news uh, editing of news or for that matter of broadcasting the different news and views to society is concerned now broadly speaking we have four important fields of journalism okay that we have already discussed about but it's just a recapitulation of what we have talked about now when we talk about important fields of this journalism that actually have a good number of people working in different areas be it in the field of print media in the field of radio in the field of television in the field of internet okay so you see it's not only working in print media when we talk about print media the first thing that comes to our mind is a newspaper okay and as i've already said that a newspaper is not only have uh, an editor is there there is an assistant editor but there are also other you know professionals working under working as a team under the same media organizations then let's come to electronic media so electronic media basically it's it consists of the most important two uh, important uh, vehicles electronic media radio and television apart from radio and television we also have other important electronic media vehicles okay so when we talk about radio so for instance uh, let us take the you know uh, case of a radio now in a radio as a profession the person who works in a you know within the setup of a radio station what does he or she does so it's not only that uh, there is a radio announcer there are also production consultants okay there are producers are there uh, there are editors are there you know because you know radio is a very demanding profession and it's not something that uh, you know you you come to the radio station you go live you air uh, different issues different news stories okay and maybe uh, those news stories can be also repeated 
in the later part of the day. Okay, that is not only how a radio station works. Apart from that, whenever the different news comes to this radio station, they come from different sources. So there are specialized editors are there. And also there are other people who write the lines on how that particular news stories needs to be broadcast. So, you know, on the radio, there are different professions and there are different people working on as a under different capacities. Same in the way of radio, similarly in the field of television also, we have there are different people who are working under different capacities. We have, so for instance, in case of a news channel, okay, a news channel is it's not something only that the news reader is there. There are a lot of other people who are behind the production of a particular news story, okay. There can be, uh, you know, a, they have a special research division is there who looks into the research of a different news stories, who looks into, you know, verifying the different facts of a news story. So there's different research division. Then there is a production division is there who are actually responsible for producing the news stories. Okay. Then there are, of course, the camera persons are there, the camera people. Those people behind the news story who are actually responsible in bringing the news story live at your doorsteps. And of course, we have, uh, you know, the news reader is there. So, if you look like there are uh, the people involved in different ways, you know, it's not only about one or two people, it's a whole collective team effort. And as time is moving or as, uh, as we're moving towards, you know, more and more uh, incorporation of technology enabled media is being used. And when we talk about technology and animal media, a lot of uh, such kind of, you know, technologies are being used which actually makes the news story very much interesting and have a very important impact on the minds of the people. So, journalism as a profession, when we talk about, it has actually, you know, broadened out. It has branched out a lot. It's not only concentrated with being a journalist or with, uh, you know, being a reporter as such. There are also a lot of other, you know, uh, people working under different capacities. So, overall, and today's uh, discussion, we have tried to understand the, the different types of journalism. The first type we had understood is about is based on the use of different media platforms. The second important type that is based on a style of presentation. Okay, and uh, uh, finally, we have try to understand journalism as a profession, how it has evolved over the years and what can be expected in the coming years. So with this, I would like to end our today's lecture discussion. Thank you so much.